there, Pisces. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a tarot card reading for you, Pisces. I want to see what kind of gifts the spirit of Christmas is bringing to you. Happy holidays. Hope you all are doing well. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you'd like a personal reading from me, all of that information is in the description box below. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Pisces. Anywhere in your chart or if you're just checking in on a Pisces, you are all very, so very welcome here. It just might not resonate with all. But welcome, welcome Pisces. Let's get right to it. Okay, let's get you a black tarot card. I want to see what kind of energy you've been dealing with throughout 2024 overall to lead to this holiday wish. So what has Pisces been going through here, Spirit? What has Pisces been going through through 2024? 2024 energy for Pisces, overall energy. Way too many. What is on the bottom there? Temperance. Wow. Okay, trying to find your balance. And... Seven of Swords, Four of Spheres, Four of Pentacles here holding on. Seven of Swords, you've just been going through uh, some broken promises here or feeling uh, very uh, like somebody's always got something behind their back. Somebody's already always up to something or trying to con you or trying to get away with something here. So it just feels like you've been very sus all year. <laughs> Four of Pentacles, you've been holding on, holding on to emotions here, money, um, who I feel like you've been holding on to your feelings here. I feel like you've been a lot more suspicious than you've let on. You haven't really said anything or you haven't talked about it here. You've been holding that down, kind of pushing it back down into the belly. Maybe that's just kind of some kind of trigger or some kind of uh, conversation you just don't want to have or you haven't wanted to have. On the bottom of the deck is Three of Cups. Wow, look at this celebration here. So celebration coming through or trying to come through here, it, it's uh, uh, maybe you're celebrating the end <laughs> of 2024. Good riddance. You know, when I was growing up, they used to, um, on, on New Year's, they would shoot away the year and all the bad things that had happened. I married an Italian when I was very, very young, 19 is when I got married. And uh, they'd have these big, big Italian celebrations, the seven fishes, right, for the for Christmas. And then on New Year's, a week later, they would all be out there with their guns and shooting away the year, shooting away all the bad luck and all the bad things that had happened to bring in the new. So I feel like that's what you're doing. Like you just, uh, it's not even worth talking about or trying to analyze. You just want it to go. You just want it to be gone. You just want to kind of shoot it away. All right, let's see. What kind of animal spirit guide uh, is walking with Pisces? Octopus on the bottom of the deck. Animal Spirit Guide for Up in the Ether. We're looking at 2024 to show us where we're going. We want to see where we've been and know where we're going. So I want to see where Pisces has been and what kind of spirit animal is walking with Pisces, is walking Pisces right into this new year. The frog. Look at all this spiritual information raining down on you. That can feel really, really heavy. I'm not seeing an umbrella here for you, Pisces. <laughs> it's just like all of the angels are, you know, uh, very sacredly crying or just spilling their, uh, spilling the tea here and just really talking about the emotions and the feels of it all and how that affected you and how that made you feel. So you're starting to really open up and it's almost like the floodgates. Once you start, you're not going to be able to stop. It's like that conversation with your best friend that you've had to wait. You've gone through all these experiences. You haven't been able to talk to them. And then uh, you have this moment where you get to you get to connect with them and it just all comes out, right? It's just like uh, 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 experience vomiting. You're just, oh my God, I did this. I did that. I did this. You know, this fabulous vacation that somebody wasn't there with you. <laughs> it just, it can't stop now. You can't stop it now. The feelings and emotions are just really pouring out now after you've kind of held them at bay you just really um it's almost this motto cry later like you were trying to get through something you were trying to uh really hold on the deer look at this on the bottom of the deck 
Tentative is the word that's coming to my mind here. You've been tentative, suspe suspect, suspicious, really. You've been very suspect of something. Uh, but maybe you didn't want to know the truth. You didn't want to hear what the truth was here. So you just kind of would rather uh, leave it uh, one of those things that you're suspicious of or you wonder or you, uh, but you didn't really want to know the truth of that. But here comes the truth on something here. It's not only uh, you releasing, but it's a return of energy and truth to you as well, Pisces. So there's a big return here and it has to do with emotions and the pouring out of emotions and the, and the being in your feelings here, be allowing yourself to feel something here and not pushing it back down into the belly uh, to figure out later. Ooh, 2025 is going to be you just really, really letting it all out and um, being yourself, being yourself, not hiding the way that you're feeling about things. All right, let's see what kind of Zen tarot card is up in the ether for Pisces for this holiday season. We're looking at a big, big holiday wish for Pisces, but I want to see what has led you here. What has led up to this holiday wish? So I want to see 2024 in the Zen tarot. Look at that with nothingness. And we are the world. That card loves to come out for you, Pisces. Uh, let's see, though. What else is up in the ether? Zen tarot card for Pisces. Moment to moment. Look at this baby steps out of it here. <laughs> You've been really following the rules, following the guidelines here. You go from the light to the dark. So you, it's like these feelings wanted to creep in or wanted to, to be resolved. They wanted to be processed, but um, no, it was too soon. It was too soon. Baby steps. I can't think about that right now. It's like uh, you could only have these blinders on. I can only look to the next moment here, to the next day here, sometimes to the next minute here. Uh, but that's what I'm doing. So yeah, yeah, you couldn't go too far ahead. That, that future seemed almost haunting to you. And you couldn't go too far back. That seemed almost haunting as well. You were in this kind of uh, stuck place where you had to keep moving forward. It was like the hot coals. You had to keep going in order for it to end. You had to go through it. There was no going over it or around it. You had to go through it. Wow, Pisces, what a journey. What a journey of um, strength for you here and endurance and stamina and um, taking it moment by moment, taking it step by step, not getting too caught up in uh, one area or another here. You've been very broad minded. You've been very open minded about um, because you've had to take it moment step by step here. So you couldn't go too far out. So you've been very myopic in your uh, choices and that really has, has served you well maturity on the bottom of the deck. Oh God. You know, I just feel like this card is saying you grew up too soon or you had to grow up too soon. Or there was just this uh, moment from uh, innocence lost here where you just had to grow up too soon. Happened too fast, happened too fast. And um, it just, this, this hardness had to kind of creep in here to protect you or you, uh, you uh, just couldn't go there. You couldn't fully, fully experience it uh, because it was too hard, too deep. It had, the, the, something like this has to be processed in uh, smaller pieces, <laughs> right? You have to just really deal with what you can uh, with, with uh, years like this, with experiences like this, with uh, the graduation in spirituality. You started looking at spirituality, started looking at the reason for things, the meaning of things, and it just really opened the floodgates here. All right, Pisces. All right, let's see. Let's see. What is your biggest Christmas wish? What is on your mind here? What does Pisces want? What is your biggest wish right now? Right now, Pisces' biggest wish, Spirit. Tell me Pisces' biggest wish. Biggest wish for Pisces. Eight of Pentacles, self-mastery. So you are looking at the deeper meaning here, the bigger picture here. You're trying to master something. I think that's why you've held everything really, your cards really close to your chest here because you've been trying to master something, you've been trying to learn it, and um, uh, you got a little bit obsessed. <laughs> I do this. I get into these spas or these things, you know, I'm all in and in the project, <laughs> especially crafts. And then I burn myself out because, you know, I do it. I, I 24 seven, I can't stop. <laughs> it's beautiful, but you're trying to master something. And I'm wondering what that is. What is Pisces looking to master here to be the, um, the guru, the guru. What is Pisces trying to be the guru of? Ooh, look at this, the Hierophant. My God, you are looking for that ascension, for that next step up, the vibrating up and out here. <laughs> the graduation. Wow, wow. The Pope, the Pope card comes out here. 
the hierophant is just like you're learning uh, a, a religion here. You're learning a religion here, a lifestyle. It's not just a fad. It's not just a, a passing thing in your life here. This is a lifestyle change for you. Real, real lifestyle change. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Look at this. It's just like moving into trust here, moving into real, real abundance here. Oh, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. This is a lifestyle change. This is not uh, a temporary fix here. This is not putting band-aids on it, pushing it down, dealing with it one little piece at a time. Uh, this is a uh, real advancement, real advancement, like a promotion at work for sure, for sure. That's a given, a given, a change in jobs, a change in careers here, a change in uh, uh, homes here. It's just a change of your um, religion here, what you really, really believe in and have faith in here, just a real uh, a digging in of that, a real settling in of that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful changing your life, changing your stars here. Whew, what's the challenge? What's the challenge? What's the challenge there? What's the challenge in the mind space for Pisces for this holiday wish? Who the soulmate energy? My goodness, my goodness. <laughs> Is this a marriage? Is this a marriage proposal? Is this you changing from being single to being coupled and sharing everything and sharing your feelings. Maybe that's very difficult for you to do, to open up, to be real and not uh, be scared of chasing someone away. If they really got to know you, if they really got to know the, the nuts and bolts of you. <laughs> oh my God, Pisces. This wish is uh, for partnership, for soulmate energy, for, uh, um, a contract, a marriage here, commitment. <laughs> wow. Wow. But it is a challenge for you to open up, for you to go all in because you've been so suspect. You've been so uh, on guard. Whew, tell me about this wish. Tell me about this wish of partnership. Tell me about that spirit for this holiday season for Pisces. <laughs> my God. <gasps> wow. Oh my God, I could, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> Pisces, look at this with strength, the world, judgment, and the sun. We've got the Hierophant, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. This is wow. <laughs> This is wow. This is changing everything. This is absolutely changing your life. You're moving into a marriage here, a real commitment, a real solid relationship. It makes you feel like you are walking on sunshine here. You are walking, uh, drifting, really uh, levitating through these next few months here into 2025. Can't wait. I would love to do a yearly reading for you because you are ending out a cycle of sadness here, of sorrow, of uh, suspicion, of doubt, of insecurity, of grieving, of mourning, of um, you've gone through something here, Pisces, it's you've gone through something here. There's just an, a beautiful ending, a, a sacred ending to this era of your life, to this chapter of your life. You're really moving into the next chapter here with the world. It's with a partner. It's with a relationship. It's with uh, somebody you can very, very much trust. You are going all in on a relationship. Uh, it seems to be um, really, really solid. Leo energy is what I wanted to say there. It seems to be Leo energy kind of uh, side by side with you, walking with you now. You have this kind of Mm, partner in crime almost that has gone through some things. Look what they're coming through. You're both coming from some real tumultu tum tumultuous times here, <laughs> but you're both ending it out with this world. I mean, I'm just dumbfounded with all of the major arcana, really. Temperance, temperance, gaining that balance, gaining that understanding here. The, the mastery, I think, was of your emotions. Maybe you just decided you were going to get a real grip on your reactions to others. You weren't going to put your happiness in someone else's hands. It's just too easy to give that away, to give that power away. Um, so I'm going to fall in love with you. You're going to be my soulmate. And I give you my happiness. If, uh, 
if you can uh, keep treating me the way you're treating me right now, I can be happy forever here. And of course, that can't happen. It's too much responsibility. People start uh, being themselves more and more the, the longer you're together here, the more that gets revealed here. So you're understanding that I can't ever do that again. I can't ever put my happiness in the hands of another. And it was earth shattering information for you. It was life changing information for you because it gave you all of your power back. It didn't matter what anyone was doing around you. You had that trust within you that um, you could trust yourself because maybe you felt like you had made some bad decisions in the past with relationships. So you started not trusting yourself. If I, um, how did I not see that in that person? How did I not uh, understand? I didn't see the red flags. I don't want that to happen again. So you started not trusting yourself. You started coming, becoming suspicious of your own radar, your own guidance system there. So that had to end, of course, because now you were suspect of everyone. Now you couldn't even get close to anyone because as soon as they walked up to you and said, hi, you know, I'm so-and-so, you're like, what the hell do you want? <laughs> get away from me, <laughs> right? You were just so suspect. And so that guard had to come down and it's come down with a boom, with a bang, 24 really, really brought down the walls here so that you could step into some kind of relationship with full, full trust. There was no suspicions, no doubt, no insecurity. Uh, if they didn't call you for three days, it wasn't like, oh my God, what did I do? Just weren't, weren't, wasn't like that. You were like, wow, I hope they're having fun. But you were so busy having fun, moving into this next chapter, moving into the light, moving into the spiritual understanding for yourself that it didn't matter. It didn't matter. It was all about um, understanding with you and spiritual understanding with you, this leveling up, this vibrational change within you here. Oh my God, Pisces. I mean, this is just really, really big. This is the biggest change of your life here. Nothing will be the same moving into 2025. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, all of your dreams come true. It's not just one area. It's not just that dream job, that career that makes you feel so fulfilled because you're already feeling more fulfilled. You're already fe feeling very, very rich, very abundant. So it's just that next logical step with you. This is massive. This is massive transformation. I mean, judgment, look at this. You're hearing a new tune. You're, you're, you're hearing things differently now. You're not taking them so personally. So yeah, you were very suspect from be feeling very, very suspicious to very innocent here. It's just like, uh, it is not going to happen to me. And it just, you're just on this different path now. It's just really a timeline jump, timeline jump into the light from the dark to the light here from the confusion, cloudiness to understanding and clarity here. It just happens like this. It's your biggest wish. It's what you've been wanting is understanding, clarity. And it comes in with a boom, <laughs> boom, <laughs> Pisces. If I was titling this, maybe I will anyway. Boom, <laughs> here it is. Here it is. Here's your dreams coming true. Here's your wishes coming true. And it doesn't have to just do with relationships. It has to do with every area you feeling good about you. You understanding the purpose of things here. The spiritual understanding just raining down upon you. <laughs> all right. What's in the foundation in the daily of this for Pisces? What is this all about? This, this wish, this holiday wish. But this goes well beyond a wish. I wish my brain could think of a word uh, that's bigger than that because <laughs> this is huge. <laughs> Tell me about the daily. Tell me about the foundation for Pisces spirit for this holiday season for Pisces. Tell me about the situation. Where is Pisces? Where is Pisces? On the fence, two of pentacles. Boy, I would be too because you're going through such changes that it's it's almost like I want to hold on to the old. I want to hold on to the hell that I know because I'm not quite sure what's ahead here. What if that's worse? What if it's worse? <laughs> you're just so afraid. You're just kind of peeking around the corner of this new of this new chapter, and you're just like, oh, please God, please God, let it be better. <laughs> and it is. It is. That is the prayer heard. You've been praying for this, Pisces. You've been asking for this, for this understanding and peace and not to be so insecure and suspicious and doubtful. So yeah, here it is. Here it is. It's that Leo confidence, that fire sign confidence uh, marching right through this beautiful water sign that is you. My God. 
Oh my God, it's beautiful. What else? What else in the foundation? What else? What else in the foundation? Ace of Pentacles. Wow, wow, wow. A brand new beginning in money from holding on, from trying to save, from having it just slip through your fingers. The tighter you grip to it, uh, the harder it was to keep here. Just one emergency after another, one financial setback after another to this massive turnaround, to this big, big change in your stars here. So yeah, 25 is just this eureka, eureka. It's a, some kind of... Um, um, entrepreneurship as well here. You cannot work for someone with these cards. <laughs> it just, it doesn't work. It's like oil and water. You cannot, you are absolutely your own boss, your own leader here, making your own rules, your own hours. Uh, it's way too restrictive for someone to be tapping their watch at a certain time because uh, you are too creative to follow this. You're way too creative to have to follow this nine to five or this, this very restrictive uh, time clock. So yeah, this is a huge fine. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, picturing gold rush here with just this uh, massive find with you. Nine of pentacles. My God, my God, what kind of Christmas wish are you in for here with your money, Pisces? There's some kind of massive breakthrough. There's just this big, big um, incoming, incoming, incoming. That's why I'm thinking boom, boom, boom. It's just one miracle after another. It's just absolutely stunning. You're just stunned at this point. And at 25, it's just going to keep moving in this direction. It's just absolutely a progression here, a progression out into the light, really, really walking on sunshine as you're getting there here. You're just feeling better. You're feeling lighter as the days go by. It's not this come to Jesus moment. It, it's not this wake up Pisces. It's this slow progression from the dark to the light here, from the confusion to the understanding here, taking one piece of information at a time here until all the pieces have come together. All of the pieces click, fit into place here. Big, big wish come true. <laughs> big wish come true. <laughs> Tell me more about this big wish. How does that affect Pisces daily life? Tell me how that affects Pisces daily life. Well, of course, it's been on the bottom of the deck the entire time. Pisces, here comes the happily ever after. Here comes that happy ending for you. My God, it's the marriage. It's the family. It's the community. It's you being the leader of this community. You being the president of the homeowners association here, taking charge of things here. Please, please excuse my dogs. My goodness, they get on a roll and they won't stop. They have no idea. <laughs> Look at this, Pisces. Look at this with the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. I mean, my God. There's the Four of Cups. You have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. You've been holding on. You've been waiting for this. You've been waiting, waiting, waiting. Well, be careful what you wish for because your life is about to change. 2025 is going to bring in massive changes for you. You're getting a huge, huge promotion into some kind of management position or entrepreneurial position here where you're on your own, you're making your own hours. You're allowed to be very creative for once with judgment here in the heart space. Your heart is absolutely allowed to sing now without you squelching it down, you shushing it. It's almost like as soon as you would express how you were feeling, uh, you started shushing it down. No, no, they're not going to understand. They're not going to, they're not gonna. It's just something about that. You just quieted yourself. You just uh, really pushed those emotions down and there's no stopping them now. It truly is the opening of the floodgates. You start to express yourself. You start to tell people how you're feeling. One person in particular here, you start to open up, you start to trust. You start to trust that this person does not have ulterior motives or um, sneakery, something going on. What are they not telling me? You start trusting here and it changes everything because you start trusting yourself and your own guidance system and your own spiritual information that you have gathered here. It changes everything everything. So as you move through the days here, as you move through this holiday season, right into the beginning of the new year here, you're finding extreme balance and extreme confidence here to go in and tell them, I want this position. 
I've been passed up too many times. I've been looked over too many times. I've worked very, very hard for this company. And this is what I deserve. You're really standing up for yourself here. Especially with the sun and that Leo confidence. It's just, you know, you know what your worth is now. And you're not going to let anyone belittle you or talk down to you any longer or treat you like a child any longer with maturity coming up here. So yeah, huge monetary gift here. A big win, a big windfall, a big promotion, a big raise, a big, just a big, big, big win for you, especially with Wheel of Fortune here in the foundation. The daily life, the changing of the guard is happening here, Pisces. This is so beautifully deserved by you because you've been quieting your own needs. You've been uh, stifling your own voice here. You've been pushing back your own wants, your own Christmas desires, maybe for your children, your siblings, your parents, uh, for others around you here. You've been uh, uh, giving more to them than you've given to yourself here when it comes to understanding because you'll let them speak. You'll let them really express their emotions, but you won't let yourself here. So you're giving yourself the gift of expression, of being creative and showing the world how creative you are, of walking into that office and saying, this is why I deserve this. All of the beautiful, beautiful traits that have led you here are shining now. You're shining now with those. So those skills, those talents are really, really have this spotlight on them now, Pisces. And you are being seen like you've never been seen before here, especially by one person in particular. <laughs> this is beautiful. Could be a Leo. Could be a Leo. All right, Pisces, I think I will leave it here. I mean, I don't even know where else we could go with this. It's just a massive, big, big, big change or wish coming true. But well, well beyond that, this is more miracle status. <laughs> this is really kind of moving beyond the wish into the miracle. Uh, you know, what is that when they, the stigmata here, it's just like, really, really, you can't miss this. It's not something like you're like, is this, is this about me? You know, you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt. So yes, yes. Congratulations. You're letting yourself be you. You're allowing yourself to be you. And without that voice in your head telling yourself to be quiet or to shush that somebody else's voice is more valid or they need to hear them more than you, you're really shushing that. It's no more, no more fear of being wrong or fear of uh, being conned or fear of the unknown here. You're just really, really sure of yourself. Love that. Yes, not being tentative. You're not peeking around that door anymore. You're really kicking it in and saying, what's going on in here? What are you guys talking about? You're not afraid. You're not afraid. Love this, Pisces. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I am sending you all of my love and light. I'm wishing you every happiness in, in this holiday season, Pisces, whatever you're celebrating. Just know that I'm celebrating with you. And, uh, and thank you. Thank you. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. It means so very much to me. That is my Christmas wish that I have helped someone out there listening. Uh, if I have, let me know. All right, Pisces, I am sending you all my love and light, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.